Okay, in this video we are going to be changing the uh, direction the end crystal's beam is pointing at. So let's pop down an end crystal. You just go down on a piece of obsidian. Don't let your players punch that, they do explode. Let's pop down another block, that will do. Let's copy its coordinates, fill, tab, tab, tab. Copy that. Oh, let's put him back. And let's put down a command block. And we are going to data merge with an entity type equals end crystal. Now that doesn't work yet. We need to limit it to one. There we go. And we are going to be changing his beam target. And we'll change those to the coordinates we just copied. X colon 33. Let's get a comma between them. Y colon, comma, Z colon. And they do have to be capitals. Capital X, capital Y, capital Z. Done. Press the button. Boom. Goes a little bit high. We can always uh, obviously drop that down. 55. There we go. We can drop it down a bit more. Before. There we are. So that's how we change it. Uh, let's stop that command feedback. Send command feedback false. That will stop getting those messages then. There we go. So that's how we use set coordinates. We could also direct it to uh, an entity. So what we're going to do here is Get a repeating one and I'm going to store my location. So execute store result storage temp and I'll call it beam target dot x. It'd be an integer one run data get from an entity. Now this is where we choose which entity. I'm going to say me, nearest player, and I'm going to get my position zero. Okay, done. I'm going to control and middle mouse to copy that. I'm going to put two more down. Always active chain, and I change this to beam target Y, position one, and this one always active chain, beam target Z, position 2. So now these three blocks are constantly storing my X, my Y and my Z. Now we're going to want one more block at the end here to apply those to the crystal. Always active chain, data modify entity at entity type equals end crystal limit equals one and beam target set from storage and we temp and we are gonna put in our beam target that's what we called it done now it's always going to point at me it always points a little bit too high not much we can do about that it's a bit jerky because it only goes in integers but that is always going to point at me now or any other mob you wanted Okay, let's turn that off and reset it back over there. We could also set it to a scoreboard value. So let's get some scoreboard values. Scoreboard objectives add, um, let's call it beam X. That's a dummy. Uh, let's beam X, beam Y, and beam Z. Okay, so we've got three scoreboard values now. And let's get down three command blocks to set those. So let's put a button on here. Uh, let's scoreboard players set. And let's make a fake player. I'm going to call him hashtag beam. And I'm going to set his beam x to uh, zero. And let's copy that. Let's put two more down. 
always active chain let's paste that command in so scoreboard player set our fake player hashtag beam and we'll set his beam y let's say 56 and let's set his beam z to zero so now we're going to be pointing at 0, 056, 0. So we've uh, set the fake player's scores. Now we have to copy those scores to the crystal. So let's get down the command block. Chain, let's do the first one. Execute, store, result, entity. Which entity are we going to store it in? We're going to store it in our type equals end crystal limit equals one and we are going to store beam target dot x that's where we're going to store the value what value are we going to store int one run scoreboard players get our fake player who we call beam hashtag beam and let's put our beam x value in there done let's hey stop pointing at me let's uh copy that block control middle mouse and put two more down and this one we are gonna beam target y beam y always active chain beam target Z beam Z always active chain so that is now pointing at these scores we've defined here we could define those scores anywhere let's uh, copy that command and let's type it here we could say 156 up it goes back down to 56 so uh, these scores could change people people could move around people could uh, uh, add and minus scores by killing monsters however you want to change them sometimes it does vanish I notice there we go up oh, up oh. <laughs> so we've got three different ways one hard-coded it will point to this block always let's turn that off first otherwise it will just go back so hard-coded will always point to that block this version here we are saving the coordinates of an entity and it will always point at that entity. Or we've got this version here where we are pointing it towards three scoreboard values. Okay, that'll do. That's three different ways that we can manipulate the beam of an end crystal. I will see you in the next video.